like 1,500 eggs a day. So, wow. If you lose 40 bees, or even that's a lot. If you lose 20 bees, not a big deal. What we have here is a nuke, short for nucleus. Uh, it's two five frame boxes, basically. So together they'll equal one 10 frame, which is what we have over there. So we're gonna just take this over there, and I'm just gonna take all the frames out of this, this hive and just place them into the hive that's over there. At least that's the plan. <laughs> Last night I came while they were all in here at night, about 10.30 at night, and I just put screen over their entrance and stapled them all in. Full, full angry bees. Because this is only five frames and this is ten, I'm going to take say four frames from, from this hive and put them in so that they'll still stay kind of stacked and then they can just expand out from, the, from here. Normally they'd be fine this time of the year, I just wear shorts and a t-shirt, but because we move them and also in the morning they get, they're a little testy. There's a couple theories. It definitely interferes with their alarm pheromones, so when, when the guard bees try to send out a signal that the hive's under attack, it interferes and they can't quite communicate well. You'll notice too, um, like when I smoke that entrance, they'll probably all go inside. And when I open the top and put a little bit of smoke in there, they'll just start eating honey. And one of the theories is that, just evolutionary-wise, if they think there's a fire, and so if there's a forest fire, They'll gorge on honey and get ready to leave. If they have to leave their, their hive to go find a new one, they'll just... It really doesn't take a lot of smoke. And if you do too much, they can actually kind of become, get a little annoyed. So typically you do that. You do that, and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna place a couple things in front of their entrance. Um, this should be good. I'm not trying to block it. But what I'm trying to do is so that when they come out, they're gonna run into this thing and realize something's different. When they normally come out, they'll just fly straight away on the roof. If they got away from here without realizing something's different, when they go forage, they're just gonna go back to where their hive was. The veil's mostly, cause, well, you don't wanna get stung in the face, but. It's more that they're curious and they like little dark cavities, so they'll try to go in your nose and in your ear and stuff. So I find it more relaxing to not have to worry about bees around your face. We'll find out pretty quickly what kind of mood they're in. They glue the whole hive back together. Like if you notice, the whole thing will pick up. And that's just, it's called propolis or propolis, just tree resins that they use to glue this thing. Huh, they all went down. Last night they were all up in here. So there's the bees. They've totally glued this thing in. Those, so how all that stuff in the middle is brood, so those are basically baby bees that are soon to emerge. Here's the queen. Oh my gosh. See how much longer she is and how much longer her body is? She has a, her body's much longer than the other bees. She's totally different. I, I rarely see her. This is a small package, but that is the queen. All the, all the bees on here, it's all capped brood. Those are all babies. See how this is lighter over here? It's more recent fruit. All the bees are the queen's daughter, but they will have between 15 and I think they've documented up to 45 different fathers. Yeah. Right now they're storing nectar in there and once they fill it all up um, and evaporate all the water out and turn it moisture out and turn it into honey, they'll cap it over. But for now, and if you see their heads are in there, they're actually drinking and stuff because of the smoke. Bottom where they don't have honey, 
You're not going to be able to see it probably, but in the middle of this bottom, there's actually eggs in those frames. They're tiny. They look like little dots. Like a miniature. Got most of them. Got their attention. The bees can also come and go from the top if they want. Um, but basically, they're in. I mean, basically, we just ripped, I just moved their house, ripped it apart, and everything. So now they're going to go back and just sort of try to figure out what's going on. You know, is the hive okay? Like, they'll sort of check all that stuff out.